What's up guys, it's Blizzbeard here and today in this video we're going to be going over the all new Treasure Quest Christmas Holiday Update and let's get straight into the video. So if you guys haven't already, be sure to leave a like and subscribe because I, guys, I have not been online for almost a month. It's actually t uh, two days from now, it would mark a month since I've actually uploaded. So we're finally uploading and you guys have still been watching my content, still been subscribing to my channel. So I really have to thank you guys for that. Um, I know I've been active, I've been super busy. Hopefully I can make up for that. For for this week so I can post some videos and all that. So it's gonna be fun, um, but we're gonna go over a ton of stuff in this new update, because by uh, the screen I'm looking at on my right, which you guys cannot see, there is a crap ton of stuff that's been added to the game, and I'm excited to share with you guys. Before we go over all the weapons and all the stuff that we can actually get, I want to say that there is apparently some boss raid like this thing over here, which we will be going over towards the end of the video. And Mew, some of you know her, she's been in some of my videos, some of my streams before, um, is going to help explain how this works. She offered to do that, so this is going to be fun. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first thing on the changelog here is this is the hyperfrost, the thing that we were talking about. We're going to skip that over for now. So we've got a new currency. That's great. we got a new holiday shop. We'll take a look at that in a second. New ability. I've been waiting for a new ability for a very long time. And stomp. This one looks pretty cool. It's more of a... No, I don't think it's a mage-based weapon. I think it's more of a warrior, whatever it's called. Uh, a new mini boss is a tank. All monsters in a room. Okay, I'm interested to see how this works. Uh, there's an ornament hunt. We might do that in a separate video. We might do that in a, this video. I'm not sure since there's a lot of stuff to cover. Um, we've got a whole new prize wheel. As usual, we've got a festive pack. This one right here, that looks pretty cool. Um, and then we also, it also said, what else? Uh, yeah, the festive pack, quest skips. I did see that, so you can have 1, 5, 10, or 25 which I don't recommend getting them, but if you really want to try to like skip to get some really crazy thing, then go ahead. Um, crafting no, requ no longer requires order. This is actually extremely helpful. Thank you to the devs for this. Uh, we got two new recipes. Those look pretty crazy. Those look awesome. Uh, maybe they have some animations, I'm not sure. Soul Fire. Holy crap, these look absolutely amazing. That blue one, or maybe we'll have a dual wield kind of thing going on. That looks awesome. There's energy blade quest, just like the elemental blade. And new badges, hyperfrost, solo hyperfrost, and frozen wings, which I'm pretty sure are the things that you get from behind here. So before we actually go into everything else, let's take a look at the shop here. Um, all right, nothing special, but we're gonna go over to the Christmas shop now. And uh, might as well actually buy some candy reins for some of these guys. Maybe people will like them. I'm not sure. I'll just buy two for now. Go ahead. So let's take a look at these weapons. Ooh. So they've got some like snowflakes going on. Some this mint monster. That looks really cool. We've got like different blades going out. And you know what? We're actually going to buy some of these. First thing we're obviously going to have to buy is this mint monster and this sub-zero staff also looks pretty cool has like some sort of orb in the middle so we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna buy why not buy 2000 for now we might buy more depending on how this goes but yeah let's go ahead and spend some of our money on this yo oh my gosh that looks like something that reminds me of like monsters inc i know it says uh monster in the thing but like I don't know, something about these like horns and the way it's shaped just reminds me of it in general. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section below. So we're going to take a screenshot of that. We bought ourselves a mint monster. That's pretty cool. Let's equip it or actually see what we got. So the bat striker actually looks slightly similar to this in terms of like the colorway, but obviously the model itself is completely different. But we're going to go ahead here and take a look at that 5.28. That's not bad. It's pretty cool. We're going to have to buy some snowflakes for 100%. Because effects for some reason. I don't know if they're in high demand still, but that's cool. Uh, we're going to go over here. Sub-Zero. Again, I love that little decal at the top. So I don't. I wonder how that's actually going to look in our hand. And now we're going to go ahead and equip them. And actually, let's take a look at the power level. Five point. Okay, so we got some decent power, le power levels for both of them. Look at that. Okay, I'm really glad I bought this staff. I'm super glad I bought this staff. That looks amazing. And then let's actually equip... Oh. The sword looks even cooler, to be honest. That is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. 
Oh my gosh, okay. That is an awesome weapon. Oh, apparently Kuroku's on as well, that's cool. Yeah, Kuroku uh, does some of the renderings for this game and stuff like that. Um, but look at this. That's That looks awesome. These two weapons, absolutely fantastic. 10 out of 10. I'm glad I actually put, chose both of these weapons out of the shop. And now we're going to go ahead and buy, you know, maybe a couple um, snowflake effects. Because, you know, why not? I believe that's a festive sword. We might be able to craft this this game. Not this game, but you guys know what I mean. So, I believe it's this this let me double check okay it's this one i double checked <laughs> just to make sure holiday halberd that looks cool so let's take a look at these down here the festive sword again that looks pretty great and we got a pretty good power as well we want to roll with the powers today all right so we're going to go ahead and craft those now that we have the weapons to do it so we've got the festive sword and now it doesn't matter which order you go in which is absolutely fantastic and we can craft ourselves a festive hammer that's absolutely great let's see what we get all right so we're gonna go ahead and claim this now that's great see if we got anything good boom 5.68 i don't know why it's a level 138 but that's also good so in terms of lobby changes, it looks like this hill has been altered a little bit so we can go under that Which I actually do appreciate a lot. This is this area was kind of not bland, but just um, Regular if that makes sense. So there's a lot of stuff now that is offered to us Not only in items, but also this thing which we're gonna talk about in a second Actually, you know what we're gonna save our the rest of our um, Candies for now and I want you guys to comment down below what? I should buy or what I should use to get these guys. All right, so now that we've gotten all that out of the way, we're finally going to go over this dungeon. We actually have Mew. Some of you say Mew. Some of you say Kate. I don't know. However you know her by. Um, is actually going to explain to me, but to you guys as well, on how this dungeon actually works or how like how you beat the boss. Apparently, there's a way you can beat it like solo, and then there's like a way through a team. So I guess there's a max of 10 people, by the way, that looks like. So... Uh, we're actually in a call right now, so I'm gonna unmute her and yeah. This is good. Oh wow. Is there normally this much Oh my people? god, everyone is- <laughs> Uh, so the more people join, actually, the higher, um, the health power, uh, yeah, health power. It's like an actual dungeon? Just, uh, crystals. Um, sort of. There's not really, like, a level on the dungeon. The boss, I'm pretty sure, automatically has, like, over a million health. I think it's okay. a million. It's like a million or a billion or something. And... The only Whoa. thing that's going to change is the health on the other mobs and the crystals. So have you have you done this yet, like at all? Uh, no, <laughs> not at all. Oh, okay, so equip something like uh, meteor shower. Um, earthquake is good if you main mage. Um, using oh cyclone is decent, and pulse fire is good on the boss. So we need to attack so these what? like crystal There's things over crystal here. Crystal things. Okay, let me just equip it. Actually. Yeah. Weapon. So. You attack the crystal, and you have to avoid the, uh, obviously, the big red glowing circle. And once you've destroyed a crystal, it's gonna open up, like, a little portal thing. You can't go into it, but, like, mobs come out that attack you, and... Honestly, of the crystals or the, oh, the portal? That thing? The portal, okay. yeah. And normally you can ignore them unless you get, um... The... What is it? The ice... Ice mini boss? The frost? That one gets annoying, and so does the Overlord. And then... Something else that's really annoying is the mobs on this, the mage ones, can move around. And those will, like, drain your health power. Especially Ooh, when there's crap. a lot of people here, but... This should go relatively fast. Wow, getting carried, I see. Oh! Yep, see, there's a frost, and that's annoying. Oh. Is he only gonna target me? It's just like, oh, no. you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> uh... Since you wanted to stand there and watch Why is my... <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, I think that's karma. <laughs> I'm on the verge of death. You have... How many lives? You should have a bunch of lives. Oh, there's... Oh, 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 okay. I'll die then. Yeah. Come kill me. Like, when I soloed, I died a couple times. I'll admit. And Crazy Commander, he did this. And he didn't Do you... How many lives solo. do you get when you solo? Do you get the same amount? The same... Yeah, oh, okay. it should be the same amount. 
Does it matter what level you I are don't know. when it comes I to feel this like stuff? Or does everyone do the uh, amount no, of the yeah, same damage? Matter. Okay. But um, I feel like you can't really solo this if you're low level, like at all, because like soloing this, you're still getting the one mil like health power and all that on the boss. Like, the only thing that changes is the health on the little crystals. I thought you do the, the same amount of damage guys. though. Um. Is that what just, you said or no? I just did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it just uh, took a little bit longer. Oh, holy crap. Oh, I died again. Anyway, guys, we still have a ton of stuff to go over in this update, which we are going to cover in other videos. We've got the ornament little cave to open over there. We've got some more items to buy from the holiday shop, this festive pack, and then some more items, some really cool items that we're going to craft in the future. So we want to try to craft this guy. Then we also have this guy and this little saber thing right here. I forget what it's called. But again, that one's going to be really hard to get since these are all... Um, gotten from quests but we're going to try to get it at some point and we're going to do it for a video so and again thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one over and out